This problem, while very common at the moment, while a lot of us are doing home-based strength training as triathletes, actually can occur in gyms anyway. And it's mainly because of the fact is we either don't have access to much resistance or we're not very well trained or confident in being able to use resistance. But fundamentally, we know that if we can add weight to something, we can increase the intensity of it. But if we haven't got the intensity, like for a lot of us we haven't at the moment because we haven't got weight lying around, unless you're lucky, being stuck here something like me, is then we have to have more volume. And more volume means more reps. Now more reps isn't ideal because as I've alluded to a load of times, that as intensity drops, if it hits below a certain point, we're not gonna start to train many of the benefits we need to turn on and recruit the muscles to be more powerful for swim, bike and run. But we, we, we're in a position where we've got no choice at the moment. So there's a way that we can work around this and make sure we can maximize the benefit in the best way possible yet. Yeah, I've heard no one talk about this. And essentially, it's you've got to make sure you're hitting what I've referred to as a maximal technical threshold over your sets. By that, what I mean is you've done the maximal number of reps you can each set without compromising technique. So your first set might look like 30 reps. Your next set, 26 reps. Then 24 reps and 23 reps. It descends. Now this isn't an approach we typically use in normal circumstances, but when you are restricted on not having much resistance and therefore not much intensity, this new way makes sure we can hedge our bets and make sure we do get a genuine proper strength overload. Because research shows that if you want to get the benefits from low resistance strength training, you have to work to this threshold. Some people call it failure, I don't use that because failure can mean different things to different people. But if you don't go to that technical threshold of fatigue that I'm talking about, you're really not going to get much. In fact, you're probably going to detrain quite badly compared to what you did at the gym. So you've got to chase the reps. You've got to use intent. Even though there's no resistance, you've got to grip the reps at the top. You've got to control that eccentric. And if you execute it in that way and go to that point of fatigue, I guarantee it's going to feel a lot harder than you thought. Whereas instead, if you kind of go through the reps and kind of bouncing up and down at them, being really loose, using lots of momentum and muscles from other areas of the body that we don't want to use, you're going to kind of not feel like you work that well and you're going to do more reps, but the more reps won't really count for much.